Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, oh, how are you guys doing? It is spring here and should be happy time, except we had snow and my family has strep. So whoop dee -doo. just kidding, everything's great. Everything's great. And I get to watch a movie with you today. Today we are watching Total Recall. This sounds to me like, when I hear just the title, it sounds like The Terminator or um, Demolition Man. Just like it's gonna be a very like, you know, like very shoot him up Arnold movie, which I'm not opposed to sometimes, you know what I mean? So we had our movie madness where each movie, um, a highly requested movie was assigned to an actual NCAA team in movie madness. And the top four were watched, the final four of the actual teams that made it. But then we had a wild card poll, which is like the other 12 that made the top 16. And this was the winner. So I'm kind of having a not planned Arnold week. I'm watching The Last Action Hero next coming out this week. So I'm excited for this one. Apparently a lot of people love it. I know there was a remake done um, more recently with Colin Farrell in it. I would not be opposed to watching that one either after this. Okay, so. With that said, let's go to the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Patreon, Instagram. Here we go. Jerry Goldsmith. <gasps> Didn't he do some Star Trek ones? Am I very wrong in that? Ooh, inspired by a short story. I just watched another movie inspired by a short story, Apocalypse Now. I'm learning that a lot of movies are inspired by short stories. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, you guys will have to tell me in the comments what you like better, the this one, the OG, or the remake. Take off your nostalgia goggles and answer it. What in the world? Very apocalyptic. Is it about Mars? Mars, that was Mars. This is getting to be an obsession. Was she there? Who? The one you told me about, the brunette. I can't believe you're jealous of a dream. Who is she? Nobody. What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> it's not funny. Dog, you dream about her every night. You know you're the girl of my dreams. Ooh, very smooth. I'll give you something to dream about. Also very smooth by her. And more violence last night on Mars, where terrorists demanding independence once again halted the extraction of turbinium ore. Wait, so people are on Mars. Mars administrator Vilos Kohagen vowed that troops would be used if necessary to keep production at full capacity. No wonder you're having nightmares. You're always watching the news. What year is this supposed to be, I wonder? Let's do it. Move to Mars. Why do you have to spoil a perfectly wonderful morning? It's dry, it's ugly, it's boring. Yeah, it looks not great. Maybe we should take a trip. Hmm? Any comments, sir, on the rumor Don't that move, you've closed please. the pyramid? Don't you want to see that? Some nice alien artifacts. Mm -hmm. It's Mr. Quato and his terrorists mm -hmm. who spread these rumors to undermine trust in the government. Have you found Quato mm -hmm. yet? We don't even know what he looks like. You can go to Saturn, too? I feel like I was meant for something more than this. I want to do something with my life. I want to be somebody. The man I love. Looks like clothes are pretty normal. I always love to see the idea of the future from, like, this was in 1990. Have you always wanted to climb the mountains of Mars? But now you're over the hill? Then come to Recall Incorporated. You can buy the memory of your ideal vacation. For the memory of a lifetime, recall, recall, recall. Never heard of Recall? They sell those fake memories. A Recall! You think they're going there? I don't know. Maybe. Well, don't. Friend of mine tried one of their special offers. Nearly got himself a lot of mine. Oh, f*** with your brain, pal. Something's up. Both that guy and Lori gave weird looks at the end of their conversations with him. Good afternoon. Welcome to Recall. Douglas Quaid, I have an appointment. Bob, 
Yeah. Doug Quaid is here to see you. Now, help me out here, Doug. You were interested in a memory of, uh... Moss. If outer space is your thing, I think you would be much happier with one of our Saturn cruises. No, I'm not interested in Saturn. I said Mars. Mars it is. We're doing this? Are we thinking about it? 899 credits. Now that's for two full weeks of memories, complete in every detail. What's in the two-week package? Private cabin on the shuttle, deluxe suite at the Hilton, plus all the major sites. Yeah, but how real does it seem? As real as any memory in your head. Your brain will not know the difference, and that's guaranteed. What about the guy you lobotomized? Did he get a refund? You're talking ancient history. Traveling with recall is safer. When you travel with recall, everything is perfect. That's so weird to think about. I could pay to have a memory of going to Disneyland Paris, but not actually have gone there. And when you think about it, you would... It is exactly the same about every single vacation you have ever taken. You, you're the same. Let me suggest that you take a vacation from yourself. It is the latest thing in travel. We call it the ego trip. I'm not interested in that. We offer you a choice of alternate identities during your trip. Why go to Mars as a tourist when you can go as a playboy or a famous jock? Secret agent. How much is that? You are a top operative. People are trying to kill you left and right. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman. Come on. I don't want to spoil it for you, Doug. You get the girl, kill the bad guys, and save the entire planet. Isn't that worth a measly 300 credits? Don't do it. Don't do it. Ernie Patch in Matrix 62B, 37. Been married long? Eight years. Oh, this is white. Ready for Dreamland? You didn't even tell his wife about this. How do you like your women? Blonde? Brunette? Redhead? Brunette. Poor Lauren. Slim. Athletic. Voluptuous. Athletic. Oh, this is Demure, so weird. Aggressive. Sleazy. Sleazy. 41A, Ernie. Oh, I thought that was the bra size. <laughs> is the woman from the street? Get down here. Looks like we got another schizoid embolism. Uh, ah, uh, ah, you blew my cover! They killed you all! What the hell is he talking about? Mr. Quaid, try to calm down! My name is not Quaid. I mean, I think I Okay, easy, easy on the needles there. Don't mess with the brain. Use your head, you dumb. He's just acting out the secret agent portion of his ego trip. We haven't implanted it yet. Someone has erased his memory. Here's what we're gonna do, Renata. Cover up any memory that he's got of us or recall. Ernie, dump him in a cab around the corner. Tiffany, you help him. I'm gonna destroy his file and refund his money. And if anybody comes asking, we never even heard of Douglas Quaid. Where am I? You're in a Johnny Cat. I mean, oh, what am I doing here? Would you please rephrase the question? That's upsetting. Someone erased his memory. He's actually been to Mars. That's why he was having those dreams. How was your trip to Mars? What trip? You went to recall, remember? I told you not to, but you went anyway. What are you, my father? Come You're on. late. Thank you very much. But... <laughs> hey, right hey, come on. Hey, hey, bring him down here. Hey, you hey. blamed Quaid. You blamed about Mars. I don't even know anything about Mars. You should have listened to me, Quaid. I was there to keep you out of trouble. What? <sighs> Harry, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> Killing them. Okay, he knows how to do this stuff. But I'm. Whoa, oh, those are necks. Okay. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Some man just tried to kill me. Gary from Rook, he was the boss. Now take it easy, Doug. Why would spies want to kill you? I don't know, but it had something to do with Mars. See, I went to this recall place after work. You went to those brain butchers? Oh, well, forget about recall, Doug. will you? These guys were going to kill me. Nobody tried to kill you. They did. I killed them. Those assholes at recall have f***ed up your mind. You're having paranoid delusions. The court is a delusion. Doug? She's in on it. Hello. Go! Get out! It is Lori. I knew it. I could tell from her exercise talk. Lori. Their whole life was a lie. Why are you doing this, Lori? Talk. 
I said talk. I'm not your wife. I swear to God, I never saw you before six weeks ago. Her marriage is just a memory implant. I remember our wedding? It was implanted by the agency. The agency set it up. Bullshit. <laughs> What is the agency? They erased your identity and implanted a new one. It was written in as your wife so that I could watch you and make sure the erasure took. Your whole life is just a dream. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? I just work here. Doug, there's something I want you to know. You were the best assignment I ever had. Really. <sighs> okay. Clever girl. You wouldn't shoot me, would you, Doug? After all we've been through? Uh, some of it was fun. <laughs> There's no in you. What? What is this reminding me of? Implanted memories. Well, it kind of reminds me of the Truman Show. He's the only one who doesn't know what's going on, but also I think maybe Minority Report? Don't touch her. What does he remember? Nothing so far. I've got him. Oh no, they're gonna see his weapon. I recognize that guy too. He's a bad guy in something. Ew. Look, look. Worst kiss. Nominee. He's got a gun! He's over there! Whoa. The escalator. He's got to go take out his tracker, but he doesn't know where it is. Oh, oh my gosh! That poor guy is just a human shield. Oh, okay. They're really just, really just not being careful. They don't care if they shoot the civilians. I don't blame you, man. I wouldn't want a guy like Quaid porking my old lady. You saying she likes it? <laughs> no. She hated every minute of it. <laughs> that is so terrible. <laughs> Lori says he can't remember jack shit. That's now. In an hour, he could have total recall. Guys, I'm thinking of another movie where people have memories implanted and they can't tell what's real and what's not. What is that? If you want to live, don't hang up. What do you want? They've got your bug. They'll be busting down your door in about three minutes unless you do exactly what I say. Don't bother searching the bugs in your skull. Wet a towel and wrap it around your head. That'll muffle the signal. How'd you find me? I'd advise you to hurry. Yes, we've got a friend on the inside. How did he know to go to this random apartment? This is the suitcase you gave me. I gave you? Tell me, get it. Keep moving. Wait, who are you? We're buddies in the agency back on Mars. You asked me if you disappeared to come and find you, so here I am. Future cars look like the Tesla Cybertruck. Where can I take you tonight? Go! Please state a street and number. I'm not familiar with that address. Uh, Fasten your seatbelt. Ew, why is it still alive? He's gonna open the suitcase and find memories of stuff he left himself. The fare is 18 credits, please. Sue me, dickhead. Classic Arnold, one liner. Sue me. Okay, this is it. If things have gone wrong, I'm talking to myself, and you've got a wet towel wrapped around your head. Now, whatever your name is, get ready for the big surprise. You are not you, you're me. But a few weeks ago, I met somebody, a woman, and I learned a few things, like oh. playing for the wrong team. You see, there's enough shit in here to fuck Cohagen good. If you're listening to this, that means that he has got to me first. Now it is all up to you. Cohagen is the... Guy from the TV, right? The Mars guy. First, let's get rid of the bug in your head. Take this thing out of the case and stick it up your nose. Don't worry, it's self-guiding. Oh. When you hear the crunch, you're there. Just pull it out. Oh. That doesn't look like him. Yikes, a bee. Don't like that. Okay. Oh, yikes. Get your ass to Mars and go to the Hilton and flash that Brubaker idea at the desk. Just do what I tell you. 
I'm counting on you, buddy. Don't let me down. How's he just gonna go to Mars? So much for keeping him alive. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. We should have destroyed that video better. Mr. Cohagen wants him. to see you right away. Any news of Quaid? We've got a car to take. So how long do you plan to stay on Mars? Two weeks. The Martians love Coato. Kill the bastard. There is Martians? Nobody knows who he is. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. We can stop. That's Quaid. Where? The woman. Get him. Arrest that woman. Get that woman. What the freak? Make it stop. 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 Get ready for a surprise! Um, his suitcase. Remember the vacuum, dummies? Oh boy, welcome to Mars. Suitcase! Excuse me, what's that? You mean the pyramid mine? I used to work there till I found that alien shit inside. It's a rumor, isn't it? I think so. So, humans are on Earth to get this stuff called Turbinium. There's someone called Koikyo, and the Martians love him. The actual Martians? Richter, do you know why I'm such a happy person? Because I've got the greatest job in the solar system. As long as the Turbinium keeps flowing, I can do anything I want. The only thing I ever worry about is that one day, if the rebels win, it all might end. You're f***ing making it happen! Who told you to think? I don't give you enough information to think! You do what you're told, that's what you do. We've got a tricky situation here. Quato wants what's in Quaid's head, and he might be able to get it, because they say he's psychic. And I have a plan to keep this from happening. Do you think you could play along? Yes, sir. Because otherwise, I'll erase your ass. He needs a disguise again. Can I help you? Yes, I would like to have a room, please. Nice to have you back with us, Mr. Brubaker. Would you like the same suite? Oh, definitely. Seems you've left something in our safe. Identification. I'll go and code your room key. Oh my gosh. For a good time, ask for Melina. Benny! Welcome to Mars, man! Well, what do the rebels want? All the usual. More money, more freedom, more air. More air. Oh, where to? Last resort. You're getting off to an early start. Do you want to know the future? What about the past. Hey, come on, it's around the corner. I bet I can guess your birthday. What is it? You're a Taurus, right? How did you guess? What happened to them? Cheap dolls and nowhere to clean out the rays. This is it. The last resort. I know this much better place down the street. I'll be waiting here for you. You just take your time. So the people with the deformed faces, that's because they were in cheap domes and didn't have enough air? What do you want? I'm looking for Melina. Well, she's busy. The thing is, friend, Mel's real picky. She'll like me. Hey, Mel! <laughs> hey. What's happening? Still bulging, I see. What you been feeding this thing? You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here, Hauser. Who's talking? Relax. You live longer. Hey, so Tony, take because care of Tony, will ya? No problem. Hauser, I mean, this Arnold used to do the dirty work for Copenhagen, Cohagen. People probably didn't like him because he was working for the wrong side. You son of a bitch. I thought that Cohagen tortured you to death. I guess he didn't. And you couldn't get me a message? You never even wondered what happened to me? How's it thank God you're alive? I don't remember you. I don't remember us. I don't even remember me. Hauser left me a note. Hauser, you're Hauser. Not anymore. They erased I him. Mean, Are you fucking married? You know, she wasn't really my wife. Oh, she isn't really your wife. How stupid of me. She was Hauser's wife? Look, Oh, forget... boy. I'm sick of hearing God lies. Why would I lie to you? Because you're still working for Cohagen. Don't be ridiculous. He's trying to kill him. You never loved me, Hauser. You just used me to get inside. Inside what? I think you better leave. Melina Hauser sent me to do something. He says there's enough in here to nail Cohagen for good. Get out. People are trying to kill me. Really? 
Why will she not believe him? She doesn't know Cohagen can wipe memories? You're a fucking mute. Take me to the hotel. I know these Siamese twins, man. You won't know if you come in or not. Mr. Quato and his terrorists must understand that their self-defeating efforts will only bring misery and suffering. He just needs to have like a light bulb moment where all his memories flood back. I need to talk to you about Mr. Hauser. Who are you? Dr. Edgemar from Recall. I'm unarmed. I'm afraid you're not really standing here right now. You're not here, and neither am I. Where are we? At recall. You're strapped into an implant chair, and I'm monitoring you from the psychoprobe console. Wrong. Wrong. I'm dreaming. What you're experiencing is a freeform delusion based on our memory tapes, but you're inventing it yourself as you go along. Don't listen to him. We can't snap you out of your fantasy, and I've been sent in to try to talk you down. You paid to be a secret agent. No! And what about the girl? Net, athletic, sleazy, and demure? I dreamt about it before I even went to recall. <sighs> Mr. Quaid. Okay, he's actually convincing me. Would you mind opening the door? I'll do it. Some arachnophobia. Who's the popcorn guy? Sweetheart? Come in, Mrs. Quaid. Well, I suppose you're not here either. I'm here at recall. I love you. Don't do it. Right. That's why I tried to kill me. I'd never do anything to hurt you. Stop punishing yourself, Doc. You're a fine, upstanding man. You have a beautiful wife that loves you. Your whole life is ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of test. Swallow this. It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. Inside your dream, you'll fall asleep. Let's say you're telling the truth, and this is all a dream, and it could pull this trigger, and it won't matter. In your mind, I'll be dead, and with no one to guide you out, you'll be stuck in permanent psychosis. One minute, you'll be the savior of the rebel cause, and the next thing you know, you'll be Cohagen's bosom buddy. In the end, back on Earth, you'll be lobotomized. So get a grip on yourself, Doug, and put down that gun. Good. Now take the Don't pill do and put it, it in your mouth. Swallow it. If he wasn't really there. Now you've done it! Come on! That's for making me come to Mars. Cuff him. Okay. Bring him down in the service elevator. Molina. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Help her out! You wouldn't hurt me, would you, sweetheart? We're married. Consider that a divorce. Hey, oh, this guy's gonna lose it, because his girlfriend's gone. <laughs> The dome will crack! Oh, that's why he didn't shoot him. So... What are you trying to do to me, man? Ah! Okay. They're gonna go find him. Kurata? Where are they? I don't know. Maybe you know. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Stop fighting and pull out. But they've got Quaid, they're protecting him. Perfect. Get out of Sector G, now. Why is that perfect that they've got Quaid? Please don't tell me Melina's Cohagen, actually... Cohagen, the area! Melina's not working for Cohagen too, is she? We're gonna turn off the air? Quato's gonna make you remember some things you knew when you were Hauser. Like what? All sorts of things. Like maybe you'll remember that you loved me. I don't need Quato for that. Since when? Freeze! Come on, Melina. Quato's waiting. Who's this? Don't worry about me, man. I'm on your side. You're a mutant, huh? You still don't really get 
forget what the mutants are. Go ahead and depressurize the tunnels. Then drill through to Section M. We can't. We're running out of air. You must know something pretty damn important, Quaid. If we don't hand you over, everybody in the sector will be dead by morning. <sighs> well, then we don't have much choice, do we? That's up to Quato. Come with me, Quaid. I'm so interested to see who Quato is. You're Quato, right? Wrong. Quato's a mutant, so don't get upset when you see him. I might get upset. Oh, dear heavens. Oh, dear heavens. Okay. What do you want, Mr. Quay? To remember. Be cool, be, be cool, self be cool. again. You are what you do. Please, take my hand. Now, open your mind to me. Why couldn't they have made him? Okay. Open your mind. Open your mind. Are we sure he's a good guy? Is this what they found in the mines? Can't risk it. The chain reaction could spread to all the turbidium of the planet. Then I'll melt down on a planetary scale. Wake up! Wake up! They found us! Let's go! Put these space suits on! We're going outside! Any hurry! Oh. Congratulations, Quaid. You let us right to him. Quaid. Start the reactor remark. You're a hero. You. you were the key to the whole thing. None of my people could get close to Quato. So Hauser and I sat down and invented you. The perfect mole. This idiot here has been trying to kill me ever since I went to recall. You don't kill somebody you're trying to plant. So why am I still alive? We gave you lots of help. Benny here. My pleasure, man. All of that was set up by us. I have to hand it to you. Best mind fuck yet. Don't take my word for it. Don't do it. Howdy, Quaid. Now, if you're listening to this, that means that Quato is dead and you have led us to him. <gasps> it's my body I've got there, and I want it back. So, adios, amigo. Thanks for not getting yourself killed. Hey, maybe we meet now at Dreams. That's AI. It's not real. <laughs> and he doesn't want to be Hauser again. Hauser sucks. Let go of me. No, no, no. You like being Hauser. Guy's a fuck. Asshole. Not true. It's one of my best friends. He's in point. You're gonna be respectful, compliant, and appreciative. Ew, ew, ew. Where a woman should be. Ew! <laughs> Thank you. Sir, the oxygen level is bottoming out in sector G. Don't do anything. But they won't last an hour, sir. Come on, Cohagen. You got what you want. Give these people air. Is he gonna remember any of this? Not a thing. <laughs> I'm having a party tonight. Why don't you and Melina drop by? Remind him, Doc? Oh, sure. See you at the party. Come on. Oh, they're so trapped in. Still, fighting just makes it hurt. <laughs> I really thought they were going to get out of this. Iconic. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going to put that thing somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. Hurry, Melina's going to be not her. Are you still you? Sure, dear. Yes, 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 yes. He's got to go start the reactor and turn on the air. You have to make a decision, so kill him. Oh, he wasn't trying to kill him because he was going to put Hauser back in him. And he likes Hauser. Hauser really was an a-hole. This is so, so cool. The reactor makes air. That's Kohagen's secret. Let's go. Where's this reactor come from? Aliens build it. Uh... Hey, the name. <laughs> Benny is such a freaking traitor. Woof. Okay. Oh, Hurry. Okay, guys. People can't breathe in Sector G. You gotta run. 
whole thing is one big reactor made out of terpenium. The whole core of Mars is ice. The reactor melts it and it releases the oxygen. Enough for the whole planet. It's the mirror. It's the mirror. <laughs> Pretty sure the people in G are dead. They had less than an hour, and it's been a long time. <laughs> I think this is the real Quaid. It is. <gasps> oh, she's good. Can that guy just be done already? Come on! Have you seen your muscles? You should not be losing. Get him! Uh, you're coming with me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. See you at the party, Richter. They really just had to do that? Faster! Don't touch that! What are you afraid of? Turn it on. Impossible! Once the reaction starts, it'll spread to all the turbinium in the planet. Mars will go into global meltdown. That's why the aliens never turned it on. In 30 seconds, you'll be dead. I'll blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. <laughs> I didn't want it to end this way. You had to be Quaid. I am Quaid. You're nothing. You're a stupid dream. All dreams come to an end. Freaking Copenhagen's been... He got shot like five times. Why is he still alive? Come on. No, no, no. I can do that one. Oh, please, gosh. Make it stop, make it stop. Make it air, make it air. Oh my. There is not enough fast urgency in this movie. Please stop. I mean, do you ever freaking recover from what happened just happened to their faces? Is everybody gonna die? Oh. I don't know if I can unsee their faces like that. That was like the thing. Statics. Blue skies on Mars. What's wrong? I just had a terrible thought. What if this is a dream? Well, then kiss me quick before you wake up. Mars is free! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. I like sci-fi like that, where it really makes you think, and it's definitely like a mind bend to think about colonizing other planets and memory implantation and all of that. If it was up to me, they went too far on the grossness, the effects of the bulging and the blooding and the arms cut off and like things stabbed through skulls. like. We could have had the same story without some of that, but people like that. Some people like that. Yeah, like I said, I liked the idea of the story. I probably really liked the short story that this was based on. And I know that some of you will be like, the remake is terrible, but watching that now really does make me curious of the remake and the modern spin on it. Okay, I IMDb it. Richter, I think what I recognize him from is the bad guy from Free Willy. I'm 95% sure, maybe Desperate Housewives. And I also, Copenhagen guy is the bad guy, the A money money in Robocop. Okay, I definitely put that. I'm pretty sure his name was Dick. Arnold is always just very 
Arnold and I'm not saying that's a bad thing like I actually enjoyed him in this it had the tiniest amount of you know his like one-liner cheesy lines and his very like <laughs> yeah I just can't believe how hard they went on those um gross effects it's one of those 90s ones 90s action flicks but with a little twist so did not love it did not hate it right in the middle for me very entertaining I liked the story behind it and it was more than I thought it would be with the Arnold shoot 'em up so thank you so much for watching along with me and I'll see you again next time